The World Cup is fast approaching and as we reported on the show this week, preparations are looking a little bit sketchy. Well, at least Qatar's got a few years to prepare. Things must be going so well over there. Uh, not so much according to FIFA President Sepp Blatter, who's admitted that it was a mistake to award the, 20, the 2022 World Cup to the country. It's too hot to play football there. It can be quite difficult to get an alcoholic drink. And there's only one real city. Yeah, ideal conditions for a World Cup. I can totally see why they thought it might have been a good idea. Chucky, what do you think? Um, well, I was looking at this. It, Qatar is 50 degrees in the summer. So why would you have the World Cup there? And he actually says he made a huge mistake. And he said today, I make a lot of mistakes in life. This is what he tells us. <laughs> but surely he has one decision to make every four years. <laughs> Put it in a country which isn't 50 degrees in the summer. <laughs> Just like, also, and I know nothing about football, <laughs> but I can bring that to the table. And it's quite staggering that somebody who is, you know, the, the number one to publicly admit that. Yes, that's, yes, that's a surprising yes. thing because about Because normally, story. like, you have the PR face on and, like, everything is brilliant. I go shopping I expect to have a lovely time looking at clothes and damaging my credit card by buying some of them I do not expect to be terrorized by a terrifying swarm of bees but that's what happened today at Topshop in Victoria this morning when tens of thousands of the sting happy insects overtook said fashion emporium wow they must have really wanted to get their hands on the new Kate Moss collection I think they were livid about Philip Green's tax evasion <laughs> they were they were down there wanting to find out <laughs> was that a naughty thing to say no it's all good alleged 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 alleged, alleged. 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 chuck yeah well mo moving on from philip green's tax evasion um, alleged. 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 no no um alleged. the funny thing is i think the bees were there because i believe strikes are in this season exactly and i'm well wearing open. them um, but i think it's funny that the headline said that uh, there were people were being attacked by bees bees don't really attack you and they certainly weren't being attacked i just think we're living in a big happy harmonious world and let the bees do their thing and if they want to go into top shop let them we'd just like to clarify that the um sir philip green comment that kaylee made was an absolute allegation it was alleged yes there you go alleged uh brilliant anyone <laughs> got anything to say about any other insects before we move on I think this is your time, okay. people. Don't sit in your insect stories. This is your one chance to talk about um, it on live TV. Well, I do know that Philip Green loves bees. Um, I know that's that. That's alleged, alleged well. No, no, he does. He does. It's London versus the feature where we pit London against the world's major cities in a contest that is in no way biased or unfair. So far, we've seen off New York, Sydney and Moscow. Tonight, Paris. Right, where do you get the cheapest espresso, London or Paris? Uh, cheaper, London. London. So where do you get the cheapest lager? Um, oh, here. UK. London. 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 <laughs> OK, can we do the big reveal, please, of the price of the lager? Uh, so that's €6.76. There you see. Pricey. And f wait, hang on a second. The cards are the wrong way round. <laughs> Give get... me those. Look, but you've got it... the wrong cards. But how does oh. that work? Because if, that's in be a... Euros and that's in, in yes, pounds. Yes, exactly. But it, look. Chuck was always holding up the London Cup. This has nothing I'm to France. do with it. I'm just calling <laughs> them up. France. I'm I'm all, I'm all, all you need to know, all you need to know is that the flaggies were on the wrong cards. This is oh, like a I'm really saying. confusing version of play your cards right. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm great. so happy I invented this game. I really am. <laughs> Have you okay. copyrighted this? I don't think anyone will steal it, but you know, we might try to do that. I've trademarked it, copyrighted it. <laughs> How tall is your tallest mountain? Chuck. Um, I'd say... Not your own mountain, London's mountain. I don't mountain. know what you're insinuating. <laughs> um, I would say France. Have you got a car? I just have a picture of an espresso <laughs> and a picture of a man making an espresso. That's all I have. <laughs> you see, it would have been better if Nigel Farage was here today. We wouldn't do his makeup though. Oh, that's true. Yay for London! Yay! Yay! You're so controversial, Louise. Yes, I am. You are. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, London or Paris, what do you think? Um, well, I love London, and honestly, everybody watching this is from London, so I love London. <laughs> um, but if you're from Paris and you're watching this, I like Paris too. <laughs> Inconclusive, Kayleigh, London or Paris? No question, London. Good, I won't ask you a question then. <laughs> 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 okay, well, at the end of that round, I am awarding an extra 100 points to London and an extra 1,000 points to Paris. Uh, so, London won that round! Yay! Yay!